Hello friends, welcome to a new interesting video. There was a time when people used to look at the clouds and say that it is impossible to go as high as the clouds and nothing can be as high as the clouds. People did not even think about it in their dreams. In today's time, going above the clouds has become a common thing because a person can go above the clouds in any airplane. And now, you will find one tall building in the world that is also higher than the cloud. The floors below the buildings are raining, and the floors above are sunny. The height of these buildings is so high that if you go to the top floor of these buildings and stand, you will not see anything but clouds. So, I've brought for you the list of the tallest buildings in the world. These buildings have named themselves as the tallest buildings in the world in their time. And the building that is going to be the tallest building in the world? In today's video, we're going to talk about those buildings and, in today's time, how high can a person make buildings on earth? We will talk about all these things in this video today. So, without any delay, let's jump into the video. If you watch this video till the end, guys, the tallest building made by humans in the world was the first pyramid of Giza. At that time, there was no building higher than this by humans. When it was made, its height was 480, two feet. It was the tallest building in the world for about 4,000 years. After that, humans became a little modern and then decided to make a building higher than these pyramids. The tallest building in the world was made in 1879 in America, which was named Philadelphia City Hall. The height of this building was 548 feet, which was only 88 feet higher than the Pyramid of Giza. After 4,000 years, a building was made so high that it was higher than the Pyramid of Giza. After that, in 1908, the title of the tallest building was taken by the Seeger Building, which was built in New York City in 1908. The height of this building was 612 feet. After this building was constructed, the trend of making tall buildings had started and everyone began making their own buildings higher than the others. However, no one thought about how tall a building could actually be. In the beginning of the 90s, our science was not yet capable of determining how high a building could be made. In 1908, the Seeger Building was the tallest building in the world. Then, in 1913, the Woolworth Building was named the tallest building in the world, reaching a height of 790 toe feet. This building was also made in New York City. After that, in 1930, another building was constructed in New York City which was named Bank of Manhattan Trust. The height of this building was 927 feet. Then, in the same year, another tallest building in the world was made named the Chancellor Building, and the world was made named the Chancellor Building. This building was also made in New York City, with a height of 1046 feet. In 1931, another building was made in New York City, named the Empire State Building, which reached a height of 1250 feet. After a long time, the tallest building in the world was made in New York City in 1871, named the World Trade Center, with a height of 1368 feet. This building remained the tallest in the world until its tragic destruction on September 11, 2001. After that, in 1973, the tallest building in the world was built in Chicago, which was named C Tower. Its height was much higher than the World Trade Center, and it was 1450, one feet tall, making it the tallest building in the world in 1973. After that, in 1998, another building named Petronas Tower was built in Kuala Lumpur. It was 1483 feet tall. Then, in 2004, the 101 building was built on the tie and it was 1667 feet tall. This was the tallest building in the world in 2004. After that, the tallest building in the world was much higher than all these buildings. You all know this building, which is named Burj Khalifa. This building was made in 2010 and its height is 2717 feet. This height is so great that if you live on the top floor of this building, you can see the sun rising twice. This means that the sun is visible on the first floor, and then you can go up and see it again because of the high-speed lift. As you have seen in the video a few years ago, one building was the tallest building in the world, and then a few years later, a building taller than that was built. Burj Khalifa is still the tallest building, but in the coming time, a building taller than this is being built in Saudi Arabia which is called Jeddah Tower, and it will also be called Kingdom Tower. This building started being built in 2010 and will be ready this year. Its height is 3,307 feet, which is much higher than Burj Khalifa. 
If in 2020, one Dubai loses the title of the tallest building in Saudi Arabia, then how can Dubai sit quietly? Work has started on the Dubai Greek Tower in Dubai, which will be completed in 2020. Again, Dubai will take the title of the tallest building in the world. The height of this building will be 4,413 feet, which will be higher than the clouds. So, is this the tallest building ever built in the world? That's all for today's video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon after subscribing so that you can be notified of new videos and be the first to comment. See you in the next video with more amazing facts. So friends, until then, bye and take care of yourselves. Thank you for watching.